सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन बैलेंसिंग ऑफ वी इंजिन गिवन क्वेश्चन फॉर ए ट्विन वी इंजिन द सिलेंडर सेंडर लाइन्स आर सेट एट नाइंटी डिग्री द मास ऑफ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग पार्ट्स पर सिलेंडर इज टू पॉइंट फाइव किलोग्राम लेंथ ऑफ क्रैंक इज हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड लेंथ ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रॉड इज फोर हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी अनबैलेंस्ड फोर्सेस वेन द क्रैंक बायसेक्स द लाइन ऑफ सिलेंडर सेंटर लाइन्स द इंजिन रन्स एट वन थाउजेंड आर पी एम Let us understand the concept of V engine. It is two-cylinder engine where the line of strokes of these two cylinders forms the V shape at the center of the crank. In the same way, the connecting rods for these two cylinder having common connection at the crank. Now, if we observe this diagram, here is the crank O A. and which lies on the vertical line y y now we will join the connecting rod that is the connection for the center point of the piston to the crank pin so th this is for the cylinder 1 that is c to a now for cylinder 2 it is d to a now in the second diagram i have shown this crank oa turn through an angle theta from this vertical line y y so we have to show this angle as a angle theta so here is o to a and this angle is theta now in the same way we will join the connecting rod at this common point a so for the cylinder first it is c to a and for cylinder second it is d to a now we will understand the angle alpha so here two alpha that is the angle between line of strokes of the two cylinder so if we observe angle cod is known as two alpha now if we observe this is the vertical line yy so from this vertical line this half portion is known as angle alpha and this remaining half is known as angle alpha so here also we will show that this is angle alpha and this is angle alpha so this total angle will become 2 alpha to solve the problems related to v engines we have to use two formulas so first formula is for resultant primary force it is equal to 2 m r omega square under root of sin square alpha sin theta bracket square plus cos cos square alpha cos theta bracket square where m is the mass of reciprocating parts per cylinder r is the crank radius that is the distance o to a and omega is the angular velocity of the crank now in case where this crank lies on the vertical line y y we have to take theta is equal to 0 degree now we will move to the second formula resultant secondary force which is equal to 2 mr omega square by n where n is the obliquity ratio and it is equal to l by r so what is this l l is the length of the connecting rod so length of the connecting rod that means this distance c to a or this distance d to a r is the crank radius under root of sin alpha sin 2 theta sin 2 alpha bracket square plus cos alpha cos 2 theta cos 2 alpha bracket square let us understand the given data with the help of diagram angle between the cylinder center lines that means these a line of strokes are known as the cylinder center lines so this total angle 2 alpha is equal to 90 degree so we can say that alpha is equal to 45 degree mass of reciprocating parts m is equal to 2.5 kg crank radius that is o to a is 100 mm which is equal to 0.1 m then the length of connecting rod so here c to a or we can say d to a is equal to 400 mm which is equal to 0.4 m 
then the speed of the crank n is equal to 1000 rpm so from that we can calculate the value of omega that is angular velocity 2 pi n by 60 which is equal to 104.7197 radians per second now we will first calculate the unbalanced primary force so which is the formula so it is 2 m r omega square under root of sin square alpha sin theta bracket square plus cos square alpha cos theta bracket square. Now we will first solve this square root. So square root of sin square 45 sin theta bracket square plus cos square 45 cos theta bracket square. Now what is the value of sin of 45? It is 1 by root 2. So here is the square. So we will take 1 by root 2 bracket square sin theta now whole bracket square because here we have to take whole bracket and square in the same way cos of 45 is 1 by root 2 so here is cos square 45 so 1 by root 2 square into cos theta whole bracket square now again we will simplify this so here 1 by root 2 bracket square that means 1 by 2 so I will rewrite here the square root term that is 1 by 2 sine of theta bracket square plus now 1 by root 2 bracket square that means 1 by 2 cos of theta bracket square. Now how we can again simplify this? So if we observe 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is the common term. So we can take this outside the square root. So when we take this outside the square root here 1 by 2 square is there. So this square and square root is getting cancelled and simply we can take outside the bracket as a 1 by 2. So we can rewrite this term as a 2 m r omega square divided by 2 and remaining terms in the square root are square root of sin square theta plus cos square theta. So this sin square theta plus cos square theta that is nothing but 1. So which is equal to 1. So here this 2 2 is also getting cancelled. So remaining term is m r omega square. So this is the simplified form this, for this primary unbalanced force. Now we will put the value. So m is 2.5 r is 0 0.1 omega 104.7197 square. So when we solve this, we will get the answer 2741.5538 Newton. Now we will calculate secondary unbalanced force Fs. We have formula 2 mr omega square by n under root of sin alpha sin 2 theta sin 2 alpha bracket square plus cos alpha cos 2 theta cos 2 alpha bracket square. Now we will put the values for alpha. So here square root of sine of 45, sine of 2 theta, sine 90 bracket square plus cos 45, cos of 2 theta, cos 90 bracket square. Now with the help of calculator, sine 45 that is 1 by root 2. Now at the same time we will solve this square bracket. So 1 by root 2 square into sine square sin square 2 theta into sin of 90 that is 1. So here the 1 square plus. Now here cos of 45 that is 0. So this whole term will become 0. So we will write here as a 0. Now we will solve this square root. So 1 by root 2 bracket square that is 1 by 2. So how we can write this term as a square root of 1 by 2 sin square 2 theta. Now we will take this 1 by 2 outside the square root. So how we can take this? So here 1 by root 2 and here square root of sin square 2 theta that means this square root and square is getting cancelled. So here only sin of 2 theta. So we can write here as 2 m r omega square by n and this root 2 as a outside the bracket and here sine of 2 theta. So this 2 and root 2 is getting cancelled. So here in the numerator only root 2 root 2 m r omega square by n. Now what about this theta? So in question it is mentioned that 
the crank bisects the center line of the cylinder so these two are the center line of the cylinder so the angle made by the center lines that is 2 alpha is bisected by the crank that means this crank OA lies along the vertical axis y y so in that case theta is equal to 0 so when we put theta is equal to 0 then this whole term will become 0 because sine of 0 is equal to 0 so there is no any unbalanced secondary force so fs is equal to 0